Hey, I want to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Luxury Podcast, your source for all things luxury and lifestyle. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so I have Greg Spillane on the line. He's CEO over at Fancy.com. Greg, welcome to the show. Hey, Adam. Thanks for having me. It's, uh, it's really nice to speak with you. I'm looking forward to our conversation. Oh, man. So uh, I'm excited to uh, to bring the brand and to bring the uh, the site to our listeners that are not currently familiar with it. And those that are, they're going to enjoy hearing more behind from the uh, the brains and the uh, and the and the man behind the brand. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, let's just jump right in. So um, for those that aren't, let's, let's start with an overview of Fancy.com and what you do, please. Sure, absolutely. So uh, Fancy was founded in 2009. Um, originally founded more as almost a social network. I mean, if you think about it as, uh, as, as, as Pinterest for, for, for luxury lifestyle products. It was a social marketplace. It was a place for people to be able to uh, share and find and uh, discover really interesting, eclectic, cool lifestyle products from brands, art, artisans, et cetera, uh, across the globe. And, and since then, we've morphed into a, uh, a marketplace. We run a marketplace at scale right now. We have almost 800 partners that uh, sell uh, approximately 200,000 products out of 35 countries around the globe. Uh, but what really hasn't changed is uh, Fancy still remains a place for a, uh, a person to go um, to find a socially curated a uh, group of just amazing products and uh, interesting products that you just normally wouldn't find uh, elsewhere. Man, that's absolutely amazing. And um, let's talk a little bit about the technology side of Fancy because I know, I mean, the app downloads, I mean, you're, I mean, you guys are doing some big business over there. I love the way you tee it up and, and you're maintaining that balance, but you're growing. Tell us a little bit more about that. Yeah, we're growing. I mean, you know, Fancy uh, – Gosh, over the lifetime, we've now have almost 12 million users who have uh, signed up wow. and profiles on Fancy. Amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. Congratulations, by the way. Let's not just, like, glance over that 12 million users that have, that have accessed the site. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's really interesting, too, because, you know, you, you know profiles are public, and, you know, people, uh, you know, when they go on Fancy and they find different things that they like, uh, you know, they Fancy is kind of our version of liking different things. Obviously, on the technology side, our algorithm is constantly taking what people are interested in and it helps us serve more mm-hmm. fresh content. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of really uh, interesting profiles that still exist on, on Fancy that are just publicly available. People like, you know, Drake and, uh, you know, a, a lot of high profile people who have accounts and are still active users of Fancy and, uh, you know, have shared and, 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 and liked some really interesting and cool products. So, you know, people can go online and, and follow, uh, you know, their favorite celebrity and then what they've liked and what they fancied in the past and what type of products that they've shared and what they're into. Let's talk a little bit more about the products. Now, I know this is a big site, lots of different things, but what are some of the things that really stick out to you as some, like, differentiators, other than obviously the cool factor and celebrities and other things like that, because we get that, like, fancy is definitely cool, but what are some of the, mm-hmm. the kind of differentiating things just in terms of products and things that you've noticed and that, and that users really connect to the brand with? Yeah, you know, I, I think what's really interesting about Fancy and what makes Fancy unique is uh, we help people find what they don't know exists. In mm-hmm. other words, you don't know what you don't know, right? So, uh, mm-hmm. you know, if you just go to, you know, general marketplaces, uh, a lot of different products exist, a lot of big brands exist. You can do searches, you know, uh, Amazon, different places like that. They're great for transactional type of purchases. You know exactly what you want to buy. You go there, you do a search, you compare, you find. Um, but what Fancy does, you know, number one is is on the curation side, uh, we look at um, the market globally. So we're we're going around and we're looking for diamonds in the rock. We're looking for amazing mm. products that that are coming about from artisans and um, you know individuals who are are developing companies, uh, emerging brands that quite haven't hit the mainstream yet. Um, and, you know, number one, we'll find them, we'll bring them onto our platform. And then two, what happens is, is, is our visitors come to Fancy, whether it's through the app, um, you know, iOS and Android apps that, uh, you know, um, 
almost 3 million active installs right now, uh, or fancy.com, as they're interacting with products and they're discovering products, sharing products, liking products, it helps us create our own internal social graph of what's trending and what's interesting, what's new. So the next person that goes ahead and visits Fancy, we help them discover some of the newest, most you know, um, socially relevant products at that moment, uh, which just creates mm -hmm. a really interesting shopping experience. Oh, that's awesome. Um, so what's next for Fancy? Like, uh, you know, the not, not asking you to have the crystal ball or whatever, what are some of your plans going forward um, in, in just developing Fancy in the future? Yeah, no, that's a great question. I mean, you know, one of the things, uh, so I, you know, I came in as Fancy as a CEO in um, early 2019, actually. Uh, and, you know, the fancy, the company had evolved a lot and we had started to go down a lot of different directions, do a lot of different things. We had a retail location that we had opened up. We were actually, um, you know, our proprietary software that we used to run our marketplace has actually been so powerful and strong. We've had people come to us and license our software to build up some more types of global marketplaces. And, you know, one of the things that I've done as the CEO of this company is really refocus the company back on our core mission, um, which is being a platform to discover extraordinary lifestyle products. So when I think of the future and where we're going as a company, you know, for the short term, it's just continuing to make the experience as great as we can. We want to continue to discover amazing new brands, amazing new products, and we want to make the user experience as engaging and as fun as possible. Um, you know, our, our mission is really around fun and bringing kind of a fun back into shopping and making it a, a, a an experience. Um, you know, a lot of the products that we have, I mean, are things that people, you know, may need in life, but they're not absolutely necessities, right? I mean, they, they are somewhat of, of lifestyle and luxury products that people like. And, and you know, we kind of go by that sort of uh, that, uh, that, 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 that feeling of like, how do we bring joy in people's life? And, and how do we find products that help making people stand out and feel like individuals? And how do we make the shopping experience as, as unique and interesting and enjoyable as possible? So the evolution of Fancy is quite honestly, mostly focused on just continuing to improve that user experience and delivering on that promise. Man, that's amazing. I love it. Um, so, Greg, that being said, if somebody's listening to this and they want to connect more with uh, Fancy, what's the best ways for them to do that? Yeah, I mean, go open up your app, uh, go to the app store, download the Fancy.com or the Fancy um, apps, uh, put them on your phone, create an account, and just scroll through it. It's super simple. It's super easy. It's got kind of like an Instagram type of feel where you can just scroll through and you're going to discover and you're going to see really interesting products. Start interacting with those products. Um, you know, our feed will update accordingly and just enjoy it. And, uh, you know, I think that that's probably the easiest way to just start to get a feel for fancy and how we work and, and the type of products that we have and the type of experience we bring to the table. Man, that's exciting. Well, Greg, really appreciate you coming on the show today and sharing more about um, what's going on over at Fancy.com, um, the technology side, and also your vision for the company uh, going forward to continue to execute on your promise and to bring that fun and keep the fun in that shopping experience. I know I, for one, enjoy it, and I, and I think my <laughs> listeners will also. Um, to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast, uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. And if you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Luxury, definitely uh, give that a subscribe, but also leave some comments in the video. I mean, love to know what kind of projects and things that you're working on. And Greg, thanks again for coming on the show.